Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on some envelope art because I keep talking about the Envelope Art Academy on my stories. And I wanted to take an opportunity to share with you a palette of colors that I have put together that will be something that you can buy. These are um, odd colors, if you will, but they all really work together and they're from a lot of different professional um, lines of paint like Windsor and Newton, Holbein, Daniel Smith, and I think they work wonderful on envelopes and I think it would be really fun for everybody to have the same color paints as I work with. So all to say today I am going to be doing a tutorial on this card that was included in last month's kit um, from Fall Faves and this is from Pip and Cricut. I will show you about my drawing and my painting and do a little time-lapse video um, if that works out. All right, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is look at your card and decide what elements you're gonna paint on the envelope, especially if there are lots of items on the card. You also want to remember when you're working with your envelope art that you need to save room for your postage and your return address in the upper left-hand corner. So I think today I'm going to simply do two pumpkins, something in the orange color and something in the blue color. I will sketch it out first with my pencil and maybe add some fine black lines when we're done. All right, let's do it, let's do it. So I've sketched out the pumpkin lightly in pencil. I will do probably the blue one in front and the orange one in back. And there really is no right or wrong way to sketch a pumpkin. Um, you wanna make sure that your stem kind of sits in the middle and that there's a little bit of pumpkin showing in the back. But the nice thing about pumpkins is they are forgiving. And if you notice on your card, you've got some highlight regions on the top and some darker areas where the lines are. Now, having said that, I always say this, paper is, envelope paper is not watercolor paper. So you don't want to overpaint and you don't want to overdo your layering because the, um, the paper just doesn't have the integrity that we need. All right, so I'm gonna use this um, gummy eraser, which also will be linked on my Amazon shopping page to just lightly remove some of the lines of the pencil. And then we'll get started painting. So I wanted to wait for the envelope to dry before the next step. Also, I wanted to remind you again, be very careful about the layering. You can see that the envelope, um, it's hard to tell, but the envelope will buckle a little bit because of all the water. So just be really mindful about how much layering and creating you're gonna do in your envelope art. Also, um, with the Envelope Art Academy, we will be having uh, postage stamps included. So we will be working on placement of those. So I'm gonna use my Micron pen and I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail since it's really hard to get that detail with the paint. And I'm just going to ever so slightly draw lines to indicate where the pumpkin shape is. And the, my lines both touch and aren't touching the envelope. So you're basically kind of lifting your hand on and off the paper to create these faint lines. Same with the stem. You can kind of do some accent lines, some shading to kind of make it look a little bit more um, like a stem. So the same with the orange one. We're gonna create some lines to try to give the shape definition of a pumpkin. Again, the whole part of this, the point of this, not the part, the point of this is to enjoy the process and have a good time with it. It doesn't have to be 
um, perfect. It doesn't have to be exactly like the card. You're using the card as inspiration. And just know that your recipient will love it either way. So when you're putting your postage stamps on, you kind of want to lay those out before you get started, before you actually stick them down so that you um, have enough room to address your envelope. Now, I always take a good look and have plenty of room to write below here and plenty of room for my return address. You can always write bigger or smaller. So then I'm going to put these on. For those of you who don't remember, postage is now 58 cents for a first class um, letter and we have plenty of three cent stamps for those of you who use um, forever stamps if you need them just let me know so then I might try my hand at my favorite calligraphy or I might just use some big block lettering here for example I might just do something really big for the first name I tend to not write cursive very well unless I really try hard and then I just might do some block lettering for the last name. Inevitably, I end up misspelling something when I work so hard at this. So just be mindful of that. All right. And then I'll put her address on here and my return address. And then this will be done.